Greetings and welcome, my name is Aaron Craig with Beyond Us Games, and in this part of learning Game Maker language from scratch, we are just going to be doing a very quick look at comments. Comments are a way for you, the programmer, to leave notes inside of the code that the game is not going to try and run. So anything in green is going to be ignored when the game actually compiles and runs so that it doesn't take up space or use up memory. It comments are specifically for people looking at the code to understand it. So to do a comment, you do two slashes, and then that entire line will become a comment, ignored by the game when it is run. Now you can add more slashes because after the first two, anything will just be ignored. So this is ignored. So that's how you do just one comment. Now if you want to do a multi-line comment, you can do a slash and an asterisk, and then you can do as many lines as you want, and then just follow it up with another asterisk and a slash. So this is a multi-line comment. You can put lots of code in there. If you wanted to try out different sections of code, you can comment out uh, one section while you're working on it, and then you know come back to it later, or you can save your code. When I'm programming, I normally don't delete chunks of code that I've spent time on, because they have valuable information inside of them. I will comment them and then work on it uh, on another section so that I can switch between different things or always come back and look at my code. It's very useful. So comments are really fantastic. The more you program, the more valuable you will see them as. Now the last thing you can do with comments in Game Maker Studio is actually name your events. So in Game Maker Studio 1, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is have three slashes on line number one. In Game Maker Studio 2, you need to have the three slashes and then at description. And then you can name your event so you can see exactly what it does. So we do this, we save it, and now this create event is actually labeled. So we can look at our events and we can see instantly, oh well, I'm looking for something that might be here. Oh, no, I've, na I've, lab I've labeled that, I know it's not, so I can go here and here, so on and so forth. So that's comments. The more you program, the more you'll want to comment. I encourage you to, because think about it when you are coming back to your code after a couple of weeks, or if you have someone else join your team, or even if you joined a team. Imagine how hard it would be if you just saw walls of programming code and there were no comments to explain what it was supposed to be doing. All right? So hopefully you find that useful, and that's all I've got for you in this part. Thank you for joining me. As always, have fun making great games, and I will talk to you later. Hey there, uh, I've got a Patreon, if you didn't know. If you'd like to support me, that would be great. Up on the screen are the people who are pledging enough to get their name in the credits. They are helping fund this YouTube channel, which is awesome. I just want to give a shout out to them and all that they do to help me do this. It's great. If you would like to join, uh, you can click on the link at the end of the video or in the description below. Thank you. Thank you.